Hi, this video is going to demonstrate the latest version of DNS Attack, which is an open recursive DNS scanner and DDoS application. Uh, it was formerly known as DNS Flood, but I changed the name to DNS Attack because I combined both the flutter and the scanner as well as added some additional features. Um, and I also regressed the version number to version 1.0. So for this demonstration I have three virtual machines. On the right here I have Fedora Desktop. Up here I have DB and Linux which is going to be our DNS server. And down here I have CentOS that's going to be our victim server. On the desktop here I have the tar file so we're just going to begin by extracting that. Now we'll just view the folder. The folder contains some source files as well as a make file and a readme. Read the readme. Uh, disclaimer for educational purposes only. Uh, this demonstration is only going to be done on localhost because using this application could be considered illegal. Uh, to compile, you will make clean, make, make install. And for more instructions, you go DNS attack help. Now we'll begin by compiling. Now we'll install. Okay. Now first we're just going to view the help. So for usage, we go DNS attack, mode, options, target. For mode, uh, specifying no argument means we're going to be launching a DNS attack. Scan is for scanner, check, checks from an existing list, and clean removes duplicates from a list. We have a number of additional options here as well. So we're going to begin by scanning my local IP range. But uh, since I'm doing all my testing on localhost, this poses a potential problem because using the scanner is actually going to saturate my network. So in order to do this, and get successful results we're going to have to actually supply some special arguments here to uh, make the scanner slower on purpose so that it doesn't saturate my network. So we're going to specify a smaller number of threads. The default is 256. We're going to go with 32. We're also going to supply an argument to have a delay between each DNS request. So we're going to supply a DNS uh, a delay of uh, one second or 1,000 milliseconds, and now we'll just uh, supply the IP range using a hysteric for a wild card. We'll begin. So the scan is going to be slow, like I said, because we only specified uh, 32 threads. As you can see, it found one result, which is our DNS server over here. So as you can see, the IP address of our DNS server is 192.168.2.5. Now we're just going to run the scanner again, but this time we're going to do it in verbose mode, so we're going to specify V. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to output the IP address and the ratio. Again, the scan is going to be slow because we're uh, we're actually only uh, supplying 32 threads. Okay, so now we should have some IP addresses in our list. We have two. And just to demonstrate some features, we're going to check. Checking also cleans the list, so uh, checking is also going to remove the duplicates. Uh, and then it's also going to scan. So it only found one result because it removed the duplicates. And uh, warning too many threads, that's because there's only two IP addresses in our list, so it only required two threads. And, uh, okay. So now we're going to actually launch the attack here. So first we're going to run TCP dump on our uh, victim. And we're going to listen for UDP packets only on uh, 
our local host, uh, local IP source. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's just get into that. Okay. So we'll run the attack. And here's our IP address. And 2.168.2.2. Okay, so we'll run this. You must run this program at root because we require root for uh, raw sockets. Now it's going to attack continuously. So uh, we'll just stop that now and we'll stop our TCP dump and we'll try to view how many packets were sent. So as you can see, uh, about half a million packets were sent. And now we'll just demonstrate this again. But this time we're going to actually only cycle the list 1,000 times, so n 1,000, attack is done, stop TCP dump, and you can see that we received our 1,000 packets. Okay, that uh, concludes this demonstration. Thank you very much.